Man, it is that time of year already. It's crazy. No matter how many of these release each and every year, I still get excited to try each one. I mean, we all know chances are it's gonna be good. Sometimes though, you get an absolute hitter. This is a Logitech Barrel Proof A123. Also a bit of a price increase for 2023, but not a huge one, but we'll get into all that. Let's try the A123, a Logitech Barrel Proof. Coming up next, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mash and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. This is the 11th year of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. That's right, the 11th year and A123 is the 31st batch, you know, if you're keeping count. Another interesting note for the A123 is that it's 125.6 proof. Now, while that may not seem like a big deal, this is higher proof than all the 2022 batches and all the 2021 batches. You have to go all the way back to 2020 to find batches that are higher proof than this particular batch. All right, so we know the stats, but in case you don't, Elijah Creek Barrel Proof is 12 years old. It's bottled at barrel proof, like I mentioned, 125.6. Mash bill, 78 corn, 12% malted barley, 10% rye. It is non-chill filtered. This is the A123 batch, the first release of 2023. A, meaning the first batch. One, meaning the month of January, and 23, meaning the year. Now, I said the price is a little bit of an uptick. The MSRP has gone from $60 to $70. Still a good value no matter what. And I mean, generally in some stores, when you do find these, $60 to $100 was pretty much the, the, the range anyway. So even though, yeah, you hate to see it go up, but everything is going up nowadays, but it's still very attainable and it's still a great value. All right, so this has been sitting in the glass about 20 minutes. Let's try it. I get, th this is, I've only gotten that rich of a cherry on certain Elijah Craig barrel proofs in the past. That is as cherry forward as I've had in Elijah Craig barrel proof in a long time. Normally you get like the Heaven Hill nuttiness, obviously at the brown sugar, the punch of vanilla caramel, all that stuff. But this is, to me, it's very cherry. A little bit of the dusty peanut coming in here too. That Heaven Hill nuttiness. The brown sugars are there. A little bit of a fudge brownie. Good underlying oak here too. There's a there's that good just Elijah Craig barrel proof punch of oak without being too overpowering. I never really find it overpowering on the nose. The difference is the palate. We'll see how that turns out. Man, all the flavors are just what you would expect. They're very rich. They're very in your face. Absolutely nothing wrong with this one. The nose seems to be getting a little bit sweeter here over time. Obviously a big, huge vanilla extract note too. But yeah, I think the outlier here is a little bit of like a chocolate brownie fudge thing with that with that cherry i just i'm hoping that it translates to the palate all right cheers man the palate just boom with flavor all the all those notes i mentioned on the on the nose i feel like i'm getting the proof this is my first pour of the day so the proof did come in pretty hot let me get another one here <laughs> Oh, okay, second sip. See, this has more of an oaky presence on the palate than the nose. Some smoky oak, that, that oak char that you get from a, you know, a well-aged bourbon, all comes to the forefront. All the sweetness is there. I'm still getting a little bit of that cherry now too. There might be some other like dark fruits mixed in there that I'm trying to just process. Yeah, that, that third sip, the cherry is fighting to come out more and more here. But it's it's almost getting to a medicinal cherry a little bit. Almost like a little bit of a Ludens cherry lozenge type thing going on. But not to the point where, you know, I want to put it down. It's still very good. I mean, this gets into like, I don't want to say like Stag Junior-ish cherry, but there's some of that a little bit with all that, all the uh, the, the cherry that I'm getting. See, but that sip, the cherry kind of took a back seat and I got more of the oak and some of that nuttiness that you get from uh, Elijah Craig Brow Proof. Man, this one is kind of, each time I go back and take a sip, 
the palette gives you something a little bit different. The, 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 the consistent notes that I'm getting here is that dark fruit cherry note thing that I'm getting. Obviously a lot of brown sugar, a lot of vanilla. And there's also a, a uh, like a cinnamon red hot candy coming through here too, especially on the finish of it. But all of those notes just kind of stay steady, but there is like this, this tannic oak punch that kind of comes through in between all that. And I mean, it's slightly drying on the palate, but not overly drying. Hmm. All right, so this is starting to get a little bit more consistent with each and every sip. And I'm loving the balance of this. I mean, you go from sweet to spice to cherry to a lot of oak. And then on the back end, I mean, this gets almost into like a, like a, like I said, like a cinnamon red hot candy. Just a ton of cinnamon red hots in the back end of it with that little bit of that drying oak note. All right, let me see if I could put this in context next to the batches from last year. The B522 was extremely sweet, very butterscotch heavy. Um, if you liked that one, that is not this. Um, the C batch from last year was extremely balanced. I didn't think it was overly oaky. I thought it leaned more towards sweet, but it also had spice and a really nice finish. Ended up being one of my top urbans of the year last year. This one, I think, is more of a combination between last year's C and last year's A, where you have a big punch of flavor, you feel the heat on this one, there's some cherry, there's a lot of spice, um, there is some sweet, but it's, it's trying to find the balance here. It's not the most, I think, um, well-balanced Elijah Craig Barrel Proof I've had, especially compared to last year, but it packs of flavor and I'm I'm here for it. The more you sip this, I feel like the more oak is coming to the forefront. This is gonna be way more of an oak forward Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, at least to me. So if you rather have the sweet ones than the, um, than the oak forward ones, this might be one you want to avoid, but we'll do a quick final breakdown on this. Not gonna spend too much time. You guys know the deal. All right, final breakdown time. All right, final breakdown of Logic Craig Brow Proof A123. All right, price, as we said, a little bit of an uptick to $70. Uh, secondary market value, these can range, but I, I don't. you don't really see these going more than 100 bucks. For availability, I'm not gonna say good, I might just say average, but it's really state dependent. States get these very randomly. Different states are still probably trying to get the C922 from last year before even getting this batch. So really depends you live, so I'll say, Actually, I'll use my favorite word, I'll use, it's wonky. Value, even at 70 bucks, this is still a ridiculous value and one that it's very hard to compete with. Uh, the most I pay, I, I'm still, like even at 70 bucks, 70, 80, even say 100, you're still getting a 12 year non-chill filter barrel proof bourbon from one of the best distilleries on the planet. So, and I say this every time I try one of these, but for this batch in particular, I probably, I would probably stick at MSRP for this one at 70, maybe 80. All right, alternatives. The first thing that jumps to mind obviously is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I mean, Wild Turkey Rare Breed has some 12 year old whiskey in the blend, uh, 116 proof and change, extremely good value uh, and very, a, a really good comparable alternative to this. Also, if you want, I mean, you could say Stack Junior, which is a great alternative as well. You put it right up against it, but this is older and usually a lot easier to find. And lastly, I would probably go with the Four Roses Single Barrel Private Selects. Those could get anywhere from nine years old to 11 years old, and sometimes if you're lucky, even older than that. So it really depends on uh, what you can find. But as far as just straight what's available on the shelf, just look for Wild Turkey Rare Breed. And then is this a recommend? I think it's always universal that these are always a recommend because they're just hard to beat for the price. But the only thing I could say is the, the the flavor profile of this one now like i said if you're if you're not into oak if you're not into an oaky profile this is not gonna probably be for you this one leans more on the oak side it leans more a little bit more stringent a little bit more cherry a little bit medicinal at times as well so if you if you liked b522 last year which was really candy and sweet forward this is i think kind of the opposite of that 
I don't think you really get a lot of that butterscotchiness to it. A lot of that rich caramel. This to me is more oak driven. It's a little bit more cherry forward, a little bit more spicy cinnamon. That's what the A123 is. Uh, so, you know, if that's your jam, then go for it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the brand new Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. If you have had this yet, please let me know down in the comments what you think of it. Do you agree? Were you getting the same things I was getting? Or do you find this to be a little bit sweeter than I do? I mean, I think on my uh, from my palate, I really do think it's a little bit more oak driven. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mass and Drum. I think we're gonna have the uh, the Larceny A123 pretty soon. But you guys know, if it doesn't, if it's not better than the C922, we'll see what happens. Cheers, guys.